What's up guys? I'm here with the 72 hour waterproof survival kit. I want to put this to the test and see if this is actually worth 60 bucks. You can get these at Walmart. They're 60 bucks. Um, it's a bug out bag and that basically means it's a 72 hour bag. You should be able to go out and survive 72 hours with just this. Now, personally, to me, this seems kind of small, but we're going to dig in there and we're going to show you everything that's in there. Um, just from reading it, half of it is a first aid kit, but we're going to see, we're going to see. Let's get this off. Wow. Check this out. It doesn't look like a whole lot. It looks like a whole bunch of first aid kit stuff, just like I said, but we'll take it out one by one. All right. So they're all in little bags. Okay. So this is purified drinking water. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it looks like six of them. A whole bunch of drinking water. We got more drinking water. This seems like a lot, okay. I mean, okay, I get it though. Three days, you know, you got 12 little bottles of water. Looks like 4.2 fluid ounces. All right, moving on to what looks like food. So this is the same brand, SOS Food Lab. Sugar, wheat, flour, but it contains six something food bars provided 2,400 calories offers maximum survival capacity with drinking water restriction under something can't read it uh environmental conditions definitely essential and we got two of those okay this is looking like the first aid kit here pretty big like i said i guess it's just a bunch of tiny items that's why it looked like it took up most of the thing but i mean this takes up a lot of room and this is you know you can't really do much with this unless you get hurt but it is definitely essential Ooh, check that out so we got a I'm assuming, well, I shouldn't assume. Let's take it out. Okay, I was wrong. I was thinking it was like an emergency tent. So these are two ponchos. So the kit is for two people. I'm actually gonna be taking this kit out and testing it. I wanted to see what it has because I wanted to kind of be prepared somewhat if it's three days long. Um, so that's why there's two. There's gonna be two of everything. So that makes sense with the water and everything. So this is a two person, 72 hour, three day. Um, bug out bag. And then you also have um, first aid blankets, two of them. All right, next, just basic survival gear. Let's take it out and go through it. We have, sounds like literally one match. I have to find out. And I'm gonna go with what's ever in here. So if you watch this video, make sure you see the other one. I'm not gonna put anything else in it. Okay, no matches. What was I hearing? Oh, the whistle. Okay, so pretty cheap, dingy little Thing. It's got a tiny little thing of flint right here if you want to start fires. The compass seems to work okay, but you also have some rope with it, which is cool. And then you got some more rope right here. Scissors. Really big, cheap. I don't even think you can get a small splinter out with these, but tweezers. This looks like one of those wallet. Yep. It's a survival card. You put it in your wallet. It has tons of different things. Can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler. Blah, 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 all the way. So it has 11 tools on it. A very small, skinny roll of duct tape. A crap ton of safety pins in here. It's, I mean, why not just some wire for, you can make snares with it, you can use, I don't know what these are for. Comment below what safety pins could be used for in a survival situation. I can think of a couple things, but I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. Some flint right here. A striker and the flint. Okay, a really big, large, ridiculous, cheap flashlight. Looks like a little hand pressing flashlight here too. So it's two flashlights. Definitely need flashlights, but this is kind of bulky. You guys hear that? That is the last item. It's actually really good in a survival situation. A strap, a strap for your bag. You know, out of all this stuff, besides the food and water, which is definitely essential for three days, I'm not seeing any shelter unless you want to use those survival blankets. I was thinking there would be some sort of, you know, you ever seen those triangular tents you can sleep in with the survival blanket material or you can use the poncho to do something. But I mean, this bag, this waterproof bag, I think is awesome for, I mean, carrying water. And speaking of water, I mean, I don't have anything to boil water with. Well, I guess I don't need to because I have water not not a whole lot of shelter but we're gonna try this i just wanted to show you guys a quick brief of what is in a 60 dollar 
Walmart survival bag. Okay, real quick guys, I did want to mention, being that there is not really any way to make fire other than the flint, which it's extremely wet outside and that would be nearly impossible, I am going to put a couple matches in when I go out, just so you guys know, and I'll mention that in the other video. But other than that, do you guys think that this is worth $60? Let me know what you guys think.